Hello YouTube friends, Dustin Bellinger here, and I've got a very large oversized mail day to share with you today. This big beautiful card here, I guess you can call it, is a 1940 Boston Red Sox team issued picture pack of Hall of Famer Lefty Grove. This is from near the end of his illustrious Hall of Fame career. Uh, I believe he pitched through the 1942 season, if I'm remembering correctly. So this is near the end, not all the way to the end, but towards the end. It is a PSA 5. Got... Uh, little bit of discoloration that you can see because it's probably placed in a scrapbook of some kind which has allowed it to stay in as good a shape as it is I actually have uh, it's not from 1940 I don't think I think it's from 42 but they're really hard to date these because they were this all the same size and characteristics and you know they wouldn't necessarily change the photos from year to year they would just you know add new players take away players that weren't on the team any longer when they created the picture packs that they would uh, either deliver them through the mail or you could purchase them at the stadium uh, but in any case, uh, I have a Bobby Door that I think's a 1942. That's what I purchased it as it was listed as, but I'm you know I don't know that you, it can be you know specifically dated to any one particular year because it, it might be from a number of different years perhaps. But in any case, this. Lefty Grove here in a PSA 5 so kind of an upgrade because I only had one Lefty Grove item from his playing days in my collection prior I had a uh, 1936 uh, National Chiquel uh, fine pin premium and those it's only a PSA 1 I believe so this is definitely, from condition-wise, an upgrade. Bigger item, definitely can be displayed. So, really happy to add that and do a little bit of a upgrade to the collection. I, I don't know that I consider it kind of an addition to the type collection because, like you said, I already had one... Uh, of these team issued photos from the 40s and where they're kind of the same each year to year it's not you know having one from each year just isn't something that you know oh, I definitely have to have one from every year or something it's just like having one or two in the type collection is plenty good enough for me but definitely was happy to get a nice little oddball item of a rather tough to get Hall of Famer and you know I got this in a PSA 5 and I paid you know a little over $75 for this after, and that's shipped and, and everything and this big thing now a night uh more common card for him would be like a 33 or i th think he has a 34 gaudi as well but one of those gaudi cards for him or uh his diamond stars card if you look at that in a comparable grade you're probably counting about 10 times well no that's probably maybe only five times as much money is what I paid for this but some significant significantly more funds to acquire a much smaller card that isn't a photo so that's 
definitely one of the things that brings me to these these premiums from this era and it's I just def feel like there's a lot more value to be had with adding an item to my collection if I go that route than some of the more popular card issues from that time period anyway I've talked at you long enough for this video I will catch you another time take care everyone bye now